Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about IE ratio, okay? Um, IE ratio, when people are first learning it, it's super confusing. So I'm going to try to minimize the confusion by comparing it to something that you already know about taking a trip somewhere, okay? Everything you need to take a trip, a round trip to a destination has everything to do with IE ratio. So IE ratio and volume ventilation, I'm going to bring this over here. We are going to set three things on the ventilator to make the IE ratio happen. We have to set the respiratory rate. We have to set the tidal volume and we have to set the peak flow. Okay, told you we were gonna compare it to a trip. On this trip, you are gonna be the conductor of a train, okay? And you're gonna take that train from point A to point B. Okay, so you're leaving point A, your destination is point B. You are driving a train. I don't know if you drive trains, but you get the idea. You are taking that train, and your train right now is gonna be two cars in length, okay? The, the engine and the caboose. All right, so your trip time is gonna be your round trip time, the time it takes you to get from A to B and then back from B to A, the round trip, okay? Trip time, okay, is set by the respiratory rate on the machine. I'll show you in just a second. Now, I said you're driving the train. Your train length is gonna be the same thing as tidal volume, okay? Your train can be short or little, two cars, pretty little train, okay? But now if I make that, that train 10 cars, it just got bigger, okay? So your train length is gonna be your tidal volume. And then you get to drive that train fast or slow, right? The speed. Okay, that speed is determined on the ventilator by the peak flow. Okay, let's just, let's just do this. Your trip time. Let's say you're taking a trip with that train and I tell you, you have six hours. So you have six hours to get there and back. You can do it however you want to. You can go three hours to get there, three hours to get back, two hours to get there, four to get back, four hours to get there, two to get back. You get to determine because you've got six hours. That's your trip time, all right? When we set respiratory rate on the machine, we are establishing the trip time. So if I set a respiratory rate of 10, okay, here's what that means to the machine. The machine takes 60 seconds and it divides it by 10. And that answer will be six seconds. So when I set the respiratory rate to 10, that machine says, okay, I have six seconds to get the tidal volume in and out before the next breath. And at the next breath, I have six seconds to get the tidal volume in and out. So that respiratory rate determines the trip time. Only we call that trip time total cycle time, okay? So if I change, watch this, if I change the respiratory rate and I double it, 60 divided by 20 is three seconds really hampers the trip because I, I don't have a long time to get all that happening, okay? Or if I change it to five breaths, man, I've got a lot of time to get it there and back, okay? So when we talk about the tidal volume getting to the lungs, that's inspiration, okay? How the tidal volume gets to the lung. And when the tidal volume comes from the lung back, that's expiration, okay? So we can talk about the time now. So inspiratory time and expiratory time, okay? So your trip time, like when we take a trip, is determined by the respiratory rate, and that's called total cycle time. Now, I'm gonna come back to what we know. So let's say that you decided you were gonna take that two car, two car train and you were gonna drive it to B, you gotta get both cars past point B, get them turned around and come back, and you decided to dedicate three hours to get there, which gave you three hours to get back. 
okay? Well, now I'm gonna say, I need you to hook some extra cars to your train because I need you to take some passengers. And now you're gonna be 10 cars long. All right, now think about this. If you are 10 cars long, it is gonna take you longer to get from point A and get all of those cars past point B and turned around, right? And if it takes you longer to get there, let's say it takes you now four hours before you get all those cars to the finish line, turn around and come back. If it takes you four hours to get there, that means you only have two hours to get back. Does that make sense? Well, that's what happens when we change tidal volume, okay? When we increase tidal volume, it takes longer for the vent to push that tidal volume into the lung. So what it does, it takes longer, so it increases eye time which means you will have a decrease E time. Okay, so tidal volume is that length of the train. All right, let's talk about flow now. Flow is the speed. So let's say Unhook all those cars. You're just two cars long now. You got the, t the engine and the caboose that you got to get to point B and back around. You have six hours to do it, but now I tell you, I need you to get there really pretty quickly because on your way back, it's going to take you about four hours because I have multiple places I need for you to stop. So if you have to get there faster with your two cars, you're going to have to speed up, aren't you? So the speed is the same thing is that peak flow. You already know this. If you wake up for school late and you have 10 minutes to get to campus, you drive fast, don't you? Because when you drive fast, the time it takes to get there decreases. That's speed. So if you're gonna get to point B in two hours, you're gonna have to go faster. So when you go faster, that decreases your drive time. And so that means when you have time coming back, you have a longer drive time. All right, so when we increase flow, when we push that tidal volume into the lungs fast, that decreases eye time and increases E time, okay? And vice versa, if we drive slow, okay, if we drive slow, it takes a long time for the tidal volume to get to the lungs. And then if it takes a long time to get there, you don't have as much time to get back, all right? So when you're thinking about IE ratio, the, the respiratory rate establishes the trip time. The tidal volume is the length of your train. When your tidal volume is bigger, it takes longer to get to the destination. Flow is how fast you drive. If you drive faster, you get there sooner. All right, so I'm gonna take this analogy on the next video and we're just gonna talk about the ventilator.